American Bone Boys have always had an outsider's take on fashion, which has allowed them to draw in all sorts of disparate elements, like this season's narrative about the impact of England on India and India on England. But underneath all of that, there's always this urban sensibility. India is always like a great inspiration. I was inspired by the contrast of the wealth and the poverty. And so I, I thought, you know, the skin can be quite porcelain and pure, more like Kate Blanchett in Lord of the Rings, and then the eyes are more kind of streety. I think Gucci said it well. She said, like, Paddy Smith goes to India. I went to India at the end of last year on a sort of inspiration trip, and it was amazing to see the contrast of the very rich and the very poor, the very, very rich textures and extremely expensive, delicate and embroidered textiles and then really base kind of cloth, but both looking very, very beautiful. Lots of layers. They're like the king of New York layering. Felt tough. She's definitely not prim. There's nothing prissy about her. There's a lot of things on those girls, and sometimes when you see a silhouette and you're like, wow, that's a really interesting silhouette, but who's wearing that in real life, or how does that come together? They do actually all break down into, like I just saw a model backstage wearing one of the coats with her own jeans and a t-shirt, she looked amazing. Somebody just asked me a, 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 an odd question about how important has your Englishness been to your success in America? Fundamentally, Rag and Bone always draws on the fact that we're English. It's fun to explore, you know, you know that element of our heritage more and more. Texture play seemed to be like their big interest. The tapestry with the trimmed and the straightened goat hair, I thought was quite a cool look. I mean, I think they're always referencing British culture, so I feel like even though they mix together these kind of disparate elements, I feel like it's always very them. You know, our brand is definitely a, a fusion of the fact that we're English, having had no training in drawing from our very English upbringing, but the fact that we're based in, a, in, a, in New York is, is a huge part of what we do, and I think it's those two things that kind of define Rag and Bone in many ways.